Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a collections video for summer. Now we all know there are many, 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 the list goes on for many's. Things to have for spring, summer, like just products, what to have, fun things, whatever of life, okay? We all know there's a lot of stuff you could have for summer, but this video is going to be mine, my favorites of top picks for spring, summer, just any kind of items, accessories, this, that, tomato, tomato, whatever the hoe, bibbity bobbity. So hopefully this video will give you some help and just some entertainment, just some content for you guys. It's May, spring is here, and summer is around the corner. You know, my next video, I'm, I wanna do something for Memorial Day, kind of must-haves, and so here's just some random products, some must-haves for spring and summer. First thing, you're gonna need some flip-flops because you cannot have your stank feet in some stank shoes getting more stanky as the, the days go on, right? I will say in the last year or two, I have uh, worn more sneakers, shoes, clothes, shoes. I don't know why. This year, I've just finally got back to just wearing like no shoes and it feels great to just have like no socks and shoes. And I never really had sweaty feet problems, thank God. I didn't want that issue if I kept wearing shoes. So then my current obsession are just these plain pink flip flops from Old Navy. These were, I bought these in January when they were just kind of out season they were just kind of leftover stuff some scrap pieces so these were a dollar 49 right now they're at old navy two for five dollars and i think it stays that way all through the summer so get these just they're really nice and they last you know you get those flip-flops i've had bad luck with flip-flops like expensive flip-flops well more expensive than like a couple dollars you know like american eagle aeropostale they've always broke and i paid like six to twelve dollars for those for one pair these are like nothing and these will last you a long time. So these actually do the real deal. And you know the ones from American Eagle, they have like all the designs all over it. They peel off and your feet are like full of it. And your feet get black underneath it. These do amazing, okay? So go get those shoes. We'll do more personal care product. Not really like product, like makeup, but just kind of like stuff whatever I don't, I'm not good at like explaining products and things okay if you're gonna be out in the Sun I do both kind of real and fake kind of a tan for the fake tan I use the what? wait why is this tank top like all messed up like that I don't know why it does that so for the fake tan I use this this is the L'Oreal Paris um sublime 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 whatever the word is bronze self tanning mist looks like this you can get this at any store I found it cheapest at Walmart. It's like nine and some change at Walmart. It's a little bit more at Target. I think Bed Bath & Beyond has the cheapest of this, like $8.99. Yeah, but I usually go to Walmart because I don't have bath. Like I don't really go to Bed Bath & Beyond that much. Like Walmart's always the more go-to store, you know? So I get this. This does a really good job. Now, if you've never done it, this stuff before, it takes time for it to like get into your system your skin so you just have to keep using it and i reapply a few times a day like if i feel like i'm not tan or glowing enough i just do another spritz and it's like a fine it's like a good mist so you like get it but just be careful because if you have white countertops or if you're wearing white clothes we know where that's going okay just it comes off but just you know fyi beware okay next Usually in the summertime, I go for more summer scents. So I use the weekend, uh, Endless Weekends. This is one of my go-tos from Bath & Body Works. It's just a very nice, clean, beachy, amazing smell. So that's one of my body wash choices for um, summer. It's one of their best sellers, so hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Spray, I use their Poolside, uh, Poolside Pop. This came out last year, and I don't think it's come back since, so yeah. Which is a very nice fruity candy kind of a smell that I love. And then I got the Cran Cream for that as well. The key notes are sparkling lime, drenched kiwi, um, crushed cucumber, uh, pink hibiscus, and creamy wood. So definitely got that fruity, fruity like candy vibes with maybe a hint of the flower, you know, floral notes, but it's just very nice. This is one of my favorite go-tos for this year. It's a good summer must. Another spray I used was a new one this year. It's this one. This one is the Fresh Sea Salt and Mango. And I love the color, the packaging. Everything about this is amazing. And again, it's very fruity, clean. I feel like I'm at the beach. A little coconuts in there. 
Oh, and I just had my, I have my window open and the wind is just blowing it all over me. Oh, I feel like I'm on Bora Bora, bitch. Okay, back to the tanning. I should have showed this after the tanning stuff. Now, if you want more of a real natural tan, just kidding. I would recommend this stuff. Anything Banana Boat works great. Any, like if you want like a real tan, but not like the sunscreen stuff, like actual tanning lotion or like sprays, I would get the Banana Boat tanning oil. I don't have that, but yeah. I use this because when I do, if I do burn, I burn. So I use this stuff. Um, the spray works okay. Cause I'm just lazy to put like lotion all over the place and I gotta wash your hands. It feels gross. Oh, this is just more convenient, the spray. It's just a nice, fine, wait, what? Just a regular misting spray, so it's very nice. This is SPF 50, this one's SPF 30. They have various different um, numbers and SPFs. Whatever your taste is and whatever you prefer. They sell these pretty much anywhere. They can be a little expensive, like more than $10. This I paid $12.95 at our local amusement park because I forgot to bring it. I was like, ugh. They can get a little bit pricey, especially these, but I think it's worth it. Like you want some good skin. You don't want like skin cancer. You don't want uh, sun poisoning. You don't want all this like stupid stuff. And you just don't want to be burnt in general and just have to deal with like skin peeling. And ugh, like I'm here to save the day. I'm here to tell you like get this shit, okay? So fake tan, real tan. I do both, I do both, I won't lie. But I won't say I don't do one and not the other. Like I do both. Let's get more personal on pits, okay? We all smell, right? Stank. Stank feet, we don't want to smell your stank pits, okay? So what I use is the Gillette, Gillette Clear Gel. This stuff is amazing, it's just got that real, like, clean, it's cold when you put it on, like after a shower, you're like, oh my God, it's cold. But it works, you don't smell yourself. And even if you forget for a day, cause sometimes I'll put it on, then I'll forget, I'll forget the next day. I don't smell myself even in the hottest conditions, so it's really good. A little pricey again, I mean, I guess, Pricey for me is like over five dollars, but um, it's like nine something at Walmart. So, I mean, it's worth it because, like I said, you don't want stank pits. So, I would recommend this stuff. Like, it works for a long time. Even if you forget for a day, you still you don't smell. You still smell this stuff. Like, it actually works pretty good, and it's good waterproof as well. If you're in the pool, you still don't stink. The last thing, product wise, is going to be this for your hair because you need some good hair. Sometimes the heat can damage your hair, whatever the case may be. And this stuff works amazing. This brand, the OGX brand. And I just kind of get various sizes if it uh, scents, if it smells good, you know. This one is the coconut water. This is probably the most coconut anything I've ever used. Like when you are using this in your hair, you get like such a strong, like authentic coconut. You feel like, whoa, like you just stick your head, in, stick in your head in a coconut, really. But it works really good. I it, I think it keeps your hair really healthy. Kind of makes that shine still. So my hair does good with it. I use a uh, pomegranate, ginger and pomegranate in the shower, like the big one. This is just a travel size. If I go on vacation, again, I use different scents. It's all good. The same product, same chemicals. I think whatever keeps your hair looking good, um, clean, shine. The whole the whole do. So that's that. Okay. That's it for product. I hope I'm explaining this stuff good. I know I'm showing just kind of random product, but it's a video, so I'm having fun. All right, next is going to be a candle. You need a good candle every now and then. Some people don't burn candles really during the year, like in the summertime, because it's hot, it's warm. They kind of think of candles more cozy, winter kind of thing, whatever. I understand, I sometimes do that as well. But every now and then I'll feel like a good candle and of course I'll do uh, beachy candles, clean fruits this time of year. Right now I have this candle that I bought at the farmer's market. This is the Candle Doctor Handmade Soy Candles in Collections. Looks like that. This one is the Black Sea, which is just really nice and beachy. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like this is like so good. I just, just smell like the ocean. I don't know anything about the notes or anything. The lady didn't tell me much. She just worked at the farmer's market because she makes these. So I was like, oh my God, how much? It was like $8. She don't know how long it burns for, but probably judging by this kind of size, I really couldn't tell you either. So anyway, it's just my recommendation for a summer candle, something fruity, something beachy. Why not? You need some sunglasses. You need to protect your eyes. So I have these that I've showed in my sunglass collection video my obnoxious sunglasses that I got 
at the mall last Christmas. Well, I think right in the fall time, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I bought these as the summer ended, I think. But they're good. And you know, you'll always see on the news, they say the bigger the sunglasses, actually, the better you want to protect whatever you can of your face. Again, again, for the sun reasons, you don't want to like hurt your skin and stuff. And I just like these because I'm just a crazy, obnoxious idiot and just likes the bigger crazy stuff so that works got some bags you need some bags if you want like a little makeup bag you need a little little beachy themes bag this one says i need a vacation and we do summertime is for vacations okay so just a cute a bath and body works just a cute little bag i think it's enough to hold your your odds and ends so it's nice just to have a little piece of beach in your pocketbook right and then for more for more like home needs like if you're going on the beach you need like a little beach bag pack your lunch just whatever you need towels whatever a good just like a good regular little bag will work i get these they sell these everywhere i get them at um christmas tree shop tj maxx home goods marshall's that's where i find most of these so this is where i got this one i think i got this at tj maxx i think it's like a dollar they're only a dollar usually it's a nice size this one's beachy of course if you want like the right corresponding theme so this one says dream, explore, and discover with the anchor and nautical theme. And it's just a really good size. You can fit pretty much anything in here. You can pack blankets, towels, your lunch, all that good stuff. Sometimes you need a good book. I don't read. I don't really read, but if I know someone like off of TV, if I know them and then they have a book, I'm gonna buy that book. And one of my favorite, all-time favorite housewives, Erica Jane has her book, Pretty Mess. I highly recommend, if I, any kind of book, this is the book I recommend. It's just so raw, authentic, and I just love reading the story behind this. I'm almost done with the book. I, um, the day I bought it, I read, like, the entire book, and I'm almost done. I haven't read it really since, but I just, I've been busy. But the book is, has such a great backstory, and just finding out where she's from and how she's, how she's got to where she has today. It's a, it's a nice, it's a real good story so i want everybody to buy it they sell them at target barnes and noble i think those are the only two places that i know of that i've seen them and they you know they always judge erica and like this picture of people like oh my god why what kind of book did you get a porn book no bitch i got a erica jane pretty mess book all right if you want to be really obnoxious because you know yours truly is obnoxious as i recommend a palm tree cup okay i got this at myrtle beach at a beachwear store it's only five dollars it's very nice and why not just drink like an idiot and just drink from your palm tree? <laughs> the price tag is still on us too. Yeah, why not? If you're on the beach, hey, get a freaking palm tree cup. If you want a more classier, classier cup, if you want something more civilized for public, get a white girl wasted cup. This one I got at Spencer's. Spencer's has a lot of good novelty cups, a lot of just fun, different kind of fun cups. So I would recommend Spencer's for a good drinking cup. So yeah, white girl wasted, cheetah print, purple and glitter. I normally don't do purple in the summertime, but the cup was on sale and you know, I need a new cup for this year to drink from. So why not be a white girl wasted, right? We all love a good throw blanket. Some, again, like candles. People like prefer to throws as in like summer, uh, fall time, Christmas time, cuddle up, be cozy. Not always, but I get where you're coming from. But I like to have a nice throw blanket, especially when I'm just naturally cold. It will be summertime, the middle of July, and you're gonna see me on with a jacket because I'm gonna be cold at some point. True story. So I love a good throw blanket. I bought this at the Christmas tree shop. They always have great throws for good affordable prices, like five to eight dollars. You can afford it. It's a good size. I don't feel like opening this because I'd have to fold it back up, but I'm just lazy at the moment. But this was in their 4th of July um, collection, just part of their um, Memorial 4th of July, red, white, and blue. It's very nice, so it's a good throw. Now, if you're going on the beach and you need a good towel, I would recommend this towel. I just showed it in my Myrtle Beach haul. That was like two videos ago at Dunkin' Donuts, just iced coffee. Just a good towel, a cute towel would be nice for the spring and summer. You don't want like bland, you don't want boring, you don't want like a solid color. You want something with design and patterns and textures and you want someone to be like, look at you and be like, okay, this person is not normal. That's what we want. And then the final thing, which is probably one of the most important things you need during the summertime, water, okay? Stay hydrated, any kind of water will do. I like Deer Park the best, no. Poland Springs, then Deer Park, then Fiji, 
than Aquafina. It's the whatever. Water's water, but really it's not. Water's, some water's better than others. Just water in general. Stay hydrated because you may think you're good sometimes, but one day your body just might be like, no. And you can feel it. Water kind of gives you that energy. Keeps you not thirsty, of course. Keeps you cool sometimes. Hey. And that is going to be everything here for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you have some ideas here of things you may need and some product that you may you may need. So I'm here to help. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below on anything you want. What do you what do you use for the summer? What are your products? What kind of must-haves do you think would be great that maybe I didn't show that I forgot to show or maybe I don't know about? If you have some ideas, let me know because you know I'll get back to you. And that'd be that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.